Lowell Wood is America's most prolific inventor now. He's the first guy to overtake Thomas Edison as having the most patents on file with the U.S. Patent Office. And he's this guy that you've probably never even heard of. He's an expert in astrophysics, in chemistry, in biology, in paleontology, you name it, Lowell knows something about it. And so the, the scope of his inventions is insane. He's working on nuclear reactors, he's working on vaccines, he's working on ways to deliver drugs to people. He comes up with silly stuff like a laser shaver. For about 30 or 40 years, he worked for the government designing weapons and, and space systems. In a lot of ways, he's probably most famous for the Star Wars project, inventing the space lasers that were meant to kind of protect us from the Russians during the Cold War. In about 2006, his life took this really abrupt turn. He went to work for this company called Intellectual Ventures, which is famous for patenting ideas. One of the things that they're famous for is these invention sessions. The people that Lowell tends to hang out with during these sessions are Bill Gates and Nathan Mirvold, who used to be the chief technology officer of Microsoft and who now runs Intellectual Ventures. And so you get these, these guys with these huge brains and they just sit around for three or four hours and bat ideas back and forth. The relationship between Bill Gates and Lowell started only about eight or nine years ago and they since become sort of these like bosom buddies. It really feels like they're the maybe the only two people on earth who can talk about some of these things at the same level. So Lowell is he's quite the character. He, he likes to stay to himself. He doesn't like attention. Even though there's a couple photos that exist of him out there, he refuses to take any more photos. He's 74. He's got this very dark red hair and this, this bushy beard. He looks almost like Santa Claus. He goes into these tangents when he's talking, but always seems to actually end up answering your question. And he describes the inventive process more as just him recalling these facts that are floating around in his head and he sort of has this ability to arrange them in different ways and it's just this recall from all these different fields. The thing that struck me about him is I don't really think he's good or bad. He's just this guy who is compelled to solve problems and invent new ideas.